Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on starting a Cessna 172 in X-Plane 11. Let's get started. If you're brand new to X-Plane and you don't even know how to look around the aircraft, hold the right mouse button in and you'll be able to move around and see. You can also use the wheel mouse to zoom in and out and the left button to click the various switches and knobs. First things first, we'll move the starter to the both position, turn on the alternator and battery, and the fuel pump. You'll start to hear things kick in in the background as we start to get power. We'll turn on the beacon and strobe anti-collision lights, enable the bus 1 and bus 2 avionics, we'll push the mixture into rich, and push the throttle in about a quarter of the way. Now we can go and take the starter and push it to the start position and hold it there for four seconds. Well now notice the RPM is increasing and all the other gauges start to activate. Now in a real life situation, we would have to shut the aircraft off to get fuel. But not next plane. We can simply go to the flight menu, edit weight and balance, and in this case, I'll move the fuel to halfway. And now you can see I have half a tank of fuel. Earlier, I engaged the beacon and strobe anti-collision lights. Those are there for safety. When those lights are activated, it lets people know that I'm either about to start the aircraft or that the aircraft has already started. It also helps people see my plane in low visibility situations, such as fog. We'll look outside the aircraft and see what they look like. You'll see the beacon light as the red rotating light on the tail. And on the wings of the aircraft, the flashing strobe lights. I'm going to make it dark outside so that I can show you a few other lights that you can see. If I want to see in front of the aircraft the taxi to the runway, I can turn on the taxi lights. Now we'll see the front of the aircraft is all illuminated so I can see in front. The navigation lights are safety lights. They're red, green, and white. And what they let us do is if we were seeing another red, green, or white light in the sky, we would be able to tell based on the color of the lights if the plane is coming towards us or moving away from us. So we'll just have a look at those lights now. Notice on the left or port side are red steady navigation lights. On the right or starboard side we have a green navigational light. And on the tail of the aircraft, a steady white light. Alright, let's take off from the runway and end this tutorial. I'm going to disengage the brakes and increase the throttle. When the airspeed hits around 70, we'll start to pull back on the, on the uh, yoke, and we should have liftoff. There we go. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. 